Imagine a fabric that is not just part of your wardrobe, but a game changer in your travel experiences. This isn't just any fabric. This is Merino wool, a natural wonder that's not only revolutionizing my closet, but also the way I travel. I did a three month trip through Europe last summer with carry on luggage only and a travel wardrobe made of only Merino wool clothes. And a bunch of the Merino clothes I packed were made by Unbound Merino, one of the leaders in the Merino wool clothing space. With their help, I was able to pack light without sacrificing comfort, style, or versatility. Today, I'm excited to share how this Merino wool travel experiment went for me. We'll explore seven reasons why Merino wool is great for travel, four important things to look out for when purchasing Merino, and how to care for and maintain this beautiful fabric. Make sure you watch my special buying tips at the end to avoid paying a lot of money for Merino clothing that isn't even really Merino. And yes, I speak from experience. Let's do this. This journey begins with Merino sheep, renowned for their superior wool quality. Unlike traditional wool, Merino wool is much finer and softer. A lot of people complain that they can't wear wool because it's itchy. And although I'm not gonna say that all Merino wool isn't itchy, if you choose the right pieces, they won't itch at all. In fact, in some cases, it's so soft and luxurious feeling, you wouldn't even know that it's wool at all. And yes, I will show you exactly what to look out for to make sure your Merino is not itchy. First up, let's look at the seven defining characteristics of Merino wool that make it great for travel. Let's start with how well Merino wool can absorb moisture. This is due to its high level of hydrophilicity, meaning it can absorb a significant amount of moisture without feeling wet. In fact, it can absorb up to 35% of its weight in moisture before it even starts to feel damp. This is why a lot of Merino wool companies make active wear because it absorbs moisture so well. And while some Unbound Merino designs are great for active wear, I also love that their styles are classic and timeless and they're meant to be worn all day, every day. For example, their travel dress was not only great for sightseeing on ridiculously hot days, but it was perfect for salsa nights. In both cases, the dress did its job in keeping me dry and good looking. Now that we've seen how Merino wool keeps you dry, let's explore how it keeps you warm with its insulation properties. Proper insulation is crucial when it comes to clothing. The crinkled structure of wool fibers makes millions of small air pockets that trap body heat, making Merino wool clothing excellent for insulation. From a travel perspective, this is important because a couple of layers of relatively thin merino wool can do a better job of keeping you warm than a big thick sweater. And of course it packs down a whole lot easier. Now you might say that I just contradicted myself in saying merino wool keeps you cool and it keeps you warm. This is where temperature regulation comes in. Merino wool regulates your body temperature, absorbing and releasing moisture as needed. This helps you stay warm even if the wool is wet. This is why merino wool is so often used as a base layer. If you're out doing something active and you sweat, your clothing is going to wick the sweat away from your body. This is good. But if your clothing is cotton, the wet cotton against your skin will make you cold, which can actually be a pretty serious issue if you're out doing something technical like mountaineering or skiing and your body temperature gets too low. But even if you're not doing something technical, nobody likes the feeling of cold, wet cotton against their skin and it takes forever to dry. You want something that absorbs sweat, doesn't feel wet and cold, and then evaporates the sweat and dries quickly. This is Merino wool. This is also why Merino wool was a great choice for my travel capsule wardrobe. On my trip, I saw temperatures ranging from zero to 40 degrees Celsius, which is 32 to over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. On hot days, my Merino clothes absorbed the sweat and dried super quick, so I was cool as a cucumber. On the cold days, my layers of wool kept me warm even if I got active and sweated in them. Now, with all this sweat happening, this next Merino characteristic is super important. Merino wool is antibacterial. Every fiber of a Merino sheep's coat has this amazing oily, waxy coating called lanolin. This is great for the sheep because lanolin repels water during rainy months, but it also works as a natural defense against infections. When the yarn is made into Merino wool clothing, it retains some of this lanolin, which acts as a shield against mildew, mold, stains, and odor causing bacteria. So not only does it keep you dry and warm, but it also keeps you fresh and clean. Being antibacterial, Merino wool is also naturally odor resistant. When synthetic fabrics absorb sweat, the buildup of that sweat becomes a breeding ground for bacteria that cause odors. Have you ever had a polyester shirt that was okay in the beginning, but after time it starts smelling after fewer and fewer wears until eventually the smell just never really goes away even after you wash it? Not gonna happen with merino wool. In fact, merino wool is so good at repelling odor-causing bacteria that you don't even need to wash it as much. 
Just hang it up and let the air get to it overnight and it's good to go the next day. This is a huge reason why I was able to travel with a small travel capsule wardrobe for three whole months and I wasn't doing hand laundry all the time, which I would have if I had a travel capsule wardrobe made of any different material. Another significant advantage of merino wool, especially relevant for travelers, is the resistance to wrinkles. Wrinkle clothes are the bane of every traveler's existence. If your travel clothes aren't in the right material, they can come out of your luggage so wrinkled that only washing it again can fix it. So let's talk wrinkles, more like the lack thereof. Merino wool is known for being incredibly resilient against creases. It has a natural elasticity and a unique fiber structure that helps it resist wrinkles, allowing you to stay looking sharp even after hours of it being packed away. Roll it, fold it, compress it in packing cubes, do whatever you want to do with it. Even if it does have some wrinkles when it gets unpacked, just hang it up and smooth it out and the wrinkles will fall. Another crucial factor in selecting travel clothing is the environmental impact. Polyester and merino wool are two very popular choices for travel clothing, but merino wool is considered far more eco-friendly and sustainable. Merino wool is 100% biodegradable, breaking down naturally over a few years, while polyester, which is plastic, can persist in landfills for decades. Also, not having to wash it as much saves on resources. And there's more to the eco-conscious picture that Unbound Merino specifically addresses, but we'll get to that in a minute. Before I get into the four specific items you need to understand to get the right piece of merino wool clothing for your needs, I'd like to tell you why I chose to partner up with Unbound Merino for this video. Unbound Merino offers high quality merino wool clothing for both men and women, designed specifically for travel and daily use. It was founded by three lifelong friends and avid travelers who loved the travel friendly qualities of merino wool, but they didn't love the lack of styles for everyday wear. They designed unbound merino clothes to be stylish, versatile, and compact, making it ideal for various situations from outdoor adventures to nights on the town. It's also a minimalist brand that makes timeless classic styles. You're not gonna find new flashy designs being released every month that are gonna be out of fashion in another three months. Instead, you will find simple, stylish, versatile clothing that will be a part of your everyday wardrobe for life. This is exactly what you want merino wool to be because <laughs> let's get it right, it's an investment. For my three month carry on trip, I took Unbound Merino's leggings, which I had to double check the label because I couldn't believe they were actually merino wool. They have a perfect balance of stretchiness while still holding everything together and retaining its shape. They're super flattering with a high waistband and a zippered pocket at the waist to secure your valuables. The travel dress was a total game changer that could be worn in a variety of different ways, on its own or with a belt, and I could easily layer underneath it or on top of it, depending on the temperature. I have since acquired a few more Unbound Merino pieces like this cashmere cardigan and this tank top and a pair of shorts. You'll see more of these and learn more about them in some future videos. Unbound Merino also has socks, underwears, hats, hoodies, activewear, and more. Their clothing is available in a range of colors and styles, and they offer bundles for added convenience and mad value. Unbound Merino's clothing is praised for its comfort, durability, and ability to reduce the cognitive fatigue of decision-making related to everyday outfits. So thank you Unbound Merino for partnering with me on this video, and also for making some pretty cool clothing. I will leave a special link and discount code for you in the description and also in the first comment so you can check out Unbound Merino for your next trip. Okay, let's keep going with four critical terms for you to understand when you buy merino wool. First up, GSM or grams per square meter essentially measures the fabric's weight and density. It's a key indicator of the wool's warmth and durability. So a higher GSM means the fabric is thicker and warmer, ideal for colder conditions. On the other hand, a lower GSM is perfect for lighter, breathable garments suited for warmer weather or active wear. Microns refer to the diameter of the wool fibers. This measurement is crucial for understanding the softness and comfort of the wool against your skin. Finer fibers will have a lower micron count and are softer and more luxurious feeling. This also makes lower micron clothing great for sensitive skin and the lower the microns, the less itchy it will be. That said, let's not knock merino with higher micron counts. They may be a bit less soft, but they'll be more durable and most likely less expensive. Okay, let's put GSM and microns in context. Leggings are more likely to take a beating than perhaps a shirt will, so they need to be more durable. And you're gonna want a thicker material for leggings to maintain a smooth appearance. So these are 330 GSM, which is a pretty heavy weight. Most merino wool ranges from 150 to 350 GSM. 
and they're so soft because they're only 17.5 microns, which is a pretty fine count. Most merino wool ranges from 15 to 25 microns. The dress is much lighter weight than the leggings at 180 GSM, which is on the lower end of the GSM spectrum, and it's 18.5 microns. The third factor that is so important to look for before you click buy is the fabric composition. It's common for merino wool to be blended with other fabrics to give the material whatever properties it needs to function well. For example, these leggings have 22% nylon and 10% spandex blended in. This is what allows them to stretch and mold to the body without stretching out. And it makes it more durable for the inevitable wear and tear that leggings are gonna go through. So blends are okay. Problem I have is when a piece of clothing is sold as being merino wool, but it only has a small percentage of actual merino wool in it. This is exactly what happened to me years ago when I spent an outrageous amount of money on a pair of technical merino wool leggings, only to discover that they were only 10% merino. And most of the rest of it was polyester which is exactly the fabric I was trying to avoid having. So lesson learned, look at the labels. Lastly, a lot of people choose merino wool because it's natural, sustainable, and biodegradable. However, it's not always ethical. Mulesing is a controversial surgical procedure in the wool industry that involves the removal of strips of skin from the sheep's backside to prevent fly strike from happening. A fly strike is a painful and at times fatal condition. The problem is mulesing is widely considered an inhumane procedure and many brands have taken a stance against it. Unbound Merino has publicly declared its commitment to using mulesing free wool. Supporting companies that adhere to these ethical and sustainable practices is vital for the welfare of the animals and the integrity of the industry. So you've got your Merino wool wardrobe, you're ready for your travels. The next step is to ensure its longevity and quality. How do you keep these fantastic pieces looking and feeling great? Luckily, caring for merino wool is simpler than you might think. It just needs a little extra love. Let's start with washing. A lot of merino wool is machine washable on a gentle cycle. Just check the label first to make sure. Whether you opt for hand washing or machine washing, always use cold water. And here's a pro tip, use a mild wool specific detergent to keep the fibers in pristine condition and the antibacterial lanolin intact. You don't have to, but it helps. After washing, don't wring out your merino wool. Just gently squeeze the water out. You can also lay it flat on a towel and roll it up in the towel to get out most of the water. Drying is just as simple. Lay your merino wool flat on a towel or on a rack to air dry. This avoids any stretching or misshaping that can happen with hangers. Plus, merino dries pretty quickly, so you won't be waiting long. Don't ever tumble dry. It can lead to shrinking and pilling. Pilling, by the way, is when softer materials form these little balls of fibers. It's common with knitted fabrics and it's annoying and it doesn't look good. If pilling happens, try washing your merino clothing with a pair of denim jeans. Just make sure that you close the zippers to the jeans. And over time, the shorter wool fibers causing the pilling will pull away on their own. Or you can purchase a fabric shaver to remove them. Got a little stain? No problem. Spot clean with cold water and mild detergent. Just Dab gently instead of rubbing to protect the wool fibers. And that's it. With these simple care tips, my Unbound Merino clothes stay fresh, they maintain their shape, and they're ready for all my travel adventures. Okay, we've gone over a lot of information about Merino wool, so let's quickly go over some additional pros and cons. Every travel wardrobe choice has its trade-offs, and Merino wool is no exception. First, the pros. Durability is a big one. Merino wool is incredibly resilient. It can withstand a lot of wear and tear, making it perfect for those rugged travel adventures. Next up is comfort. There's nothing quite like the softness of a low micron merino against your skin. And when you are on the move and out of your comfort zone, the comfort of your clothes is not to be underestimated. And Unbound Merino's clothes all have low micron counts, which means they are about as soft as it gets. Merino wool is also a natural renewable fiber, which makes it a great choice for eco-conscious travelers. It's wrinkle resistant, it packs down small, it doesn't need washing as much, and it's easy to care for. This is exactly why I was able to travel for three whole months through three different climates and a variety of scenarios with two little packing cubes of merino wool clothes. But while merino wool is fantastic, it's not without some drawbacks. For instance, it can be more expensive than synthetic fabrics and it requires more careful washing. And because it's more expensive, you might be tempted to not wear it as much or to save it for special occasions or to be nervous about damaging it. And you can't do that. It's for wearing, you gotta wear it. While merino wool isn't cheap, I have found that the investment pays off in terms of versatility and longevity. These pieces aren't just for one trip. They're for many adventures to come. Plus the comfort and eco-friendly aspects, 
are hard to beat. This is why I like Unbound Merino. They make timeless classics that are designed to be worn in a variety of scenarios, climates, and locations. It's not gonna go out of style, so it can be a part of your travel wardrobe for years to come. You invest in the pieces to begin with, and on a cost per wear basis, they pay for themselves in the long run. Also, Canadians, rejoice! Unbound Merino is a Canadian company, which means we get free shipping and returns. You do in the US as well, but the US always gets free shipping. This is revolutionary for us in Canada. Look for the link and special discount in the description and the first pinned comment. If you own Merino wool, share your tips and experiences in the comments so we can all travel smart and in style. I'm Nora Dunn, AKA The Professional Hobo, and thank you for watching. Ciao.